because it all ends October 31st, guaranteed. Don't wait. Call 9X Mobile today. All of our new inventors today will receive a service merchandise gift certificate. Select from top name brand products in their catalog or in any one of their 350 stores nationwide. Service merchandise. Mitsukan Ajapan, a citrus-flavored soy sauce that goes on absolutely anything. Mitsukan, authentic oriental products that liven up American favorites. And Jonelle's French Manicure, quick and easy. Ride it and pick it. For smoother, wider tips and healthier-looking nails, treat yourself to a French Manicure from Jonelle. Ladies and gentlemen, our success story today has made rubbing a mouse on a tabletop okay. Let's go meet him. Let's give a warm computer whiz welcome to Dr. Douglas Engelbart. Hey, Doug. Nice Hi. to meet you. Thank you, Jim. I'm just, I have a mouse and I love it. And I know you're the inventor of it. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's talk about it. Can I sit here on your file cabinet? Sure. Okay, great. Gently. Okay, okay, I will. I'm careful with my mouse, so I'll be careful with you. You look at all these that you have up here. Which is the first one that well, you this, this is the actual the prototype we built at the time and did the tests. And it was carved out of wood. And the workings inside are pretty much what's inside current mice. But it, it sort of shows the, the principle of... Uh, has that, what, that's how it rolls yeah. then? See those? Oh, I those see wheels, sideways. It's, it's important that that they are at right angles to each other. So one wheel, its rotation, if this is connected to the computer, tells the computer how far horizontally to move a cursor. Oh right. And the other wheel, how far vertically. And it turns out for this strange reason that they'll, no matter how you move it, it'll it'll resolve the two directions. So that's what you came up with, and that's what yeah. led to the mouse that we have today. Yeah. And so when you first came up with this idea, was everybody, did they go crazy for the idea, or did you have to sell it a lot? These things were around. I remember reading reviews of them in, in the trade journals, and they'd say, well, I tried a mouse, and it was too hard to use. It, it never worked. And, oh, uh, really? Yeah. And so it was almost 20 years after it was invented before it started to roll, and uh, people started giving it a shot. And today there are 90 million mice out there and 13 million more are going to be added this year. And so, you know, it's, there are quite a few people begun to use them. Right, and uh, do you own the patent on this thing? Well, no, the patent is who, who the patent was made out to and who it's signed over to are two different things. So I was the inventor, but I was working for Stanford Research Institute, so you have to sign over everything. So every time they so, someone buys a mouse, you don't get anything? I, I would like to have gotten the money from it, but it wasn't what I was after, and I knew it, so I, anyway. You had a different reason for it. Yeah. You were trying to fulfill a need that... And that's been driving me ever since, very, very, very hard, that very much convinced that there are, there are places we can get to that we can have a much, a much smarter society, you know. It's kind of trying yeah. to awake people to the potential of which this is just scratching the surface of what's really there to help people think and work together. What other computer related inventions have you come up with? Things like outline processing and hypertext and groupware and email are things that we all built into by 1970 into our into our environment and uh, so those are things that aren't that easy to describe. Do you guys get this? <laughs> I feel stupid. Oh, no, sorry about that. No, no, it's okay. No, you're explaining it very well. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are going to understand. And I will understand if you tell me again. Okay, so what's email? It's I mean, that's what it is. Electronic mail. Right. Yeah, that's what I call email. You want some place to say what's from, something to say it's to, copy, subject, and then, uh, then the text of what, you know, the material mail. So if those are done in the right kind of conventions and you have the supported programs, you could say send it. And it'll automatically take that package of stuff and ship it around the world and it'll lodge in your the recipient's environment and he can then read it. Can I email you something, Doug? Oh, certainly. Okay. Yeah.
You know, I have one more question. It's just killing me. I got to know, what exactly is an open hyperdoc system? Well, that, that's a name we've given to what we assume the future will provide with computerized... Excuse me, I'm sorry. We're all out of time. I'd like to apologize to author Gore Vidal, impressionist Fred Travelina. We'll have you back real soon. Thanks, everybody. Good night. We're out of time. See you next time. Protective services provided by West Coast Detectives, North Hollywood, California. Guest accommodations provided by the Sheraton Los Angeles Airport Hotel with complimentary shuttle service. Yeah, it's a funny crew. Are Say goodbye to, to our... Are we supposed to be? No, we'll just stay here and, and chat. Are you going to be heading back to... Uh... Yeah. Yeah. But you mean, don't I get a chance now that I'm on a camera, I could show you about all those things? Really. Oh, I, I'd I like really that. Tell well, you. It's good. <laughs> Let's do it over dinner. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Keep talking. All right. But anyway, well, okay. Give me another way out of the crowd. Fly. Uh, you say goodbye to the folks out there. Oh. Bye. Two million Americans suffer from Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. They need your help because the only thing shameful about these diseases is that there's still no cure. Sundown, 18 degrees and windy. Because of what some folks wake up to in the morning, North Face and Herc Selenese set out to create a sleeping bag that would hang tough no matter what the weather. And they did it with Polar Guard, an insulating fiber that'll keep a body warm and dry even up here. And that's a real comfort to those of us that make higher demands of our accommodations. Herc Selenese, the name behind the names you know. Who makes the liveliest Mexican dressing?